Hello guys and welcome once again to Jam Chemistry class. Of course, in the last episode, we talked about Dalton's atomic theory. We look at his, at his postulates and then we look at the modifications to his theories. If you have not seen that video, please go back, watch it before you see this video. Anyway, uh, do not forget that this uh, tutorial is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam application. The Jam application is a CPT practice app designed exactly like the way you see on your exam day. The app has all the jam pass questions that you need, so you do not need to go and buy any other physical pass questions. It has wonderful features that will make you practice. There's also a UTME challenge that you can participate in weekly to, sh to test yourself, to prepare yourself for the main exam day. So you do not even need to register for mock because you, are, you, are, you have mock every Saturday on the app. So please head on to Play Store, search for O2D School Jam app, download it and activate it activation of the app is very cheap just 2500 to, to access all the features in the app so please head there download and do not be stingy to yourself all right so uh, we're going to begin uh today's class and uh, we're going to be looking at the atomic structure also in view because we, we started with atomic structure from the last episode we'll continue in this episode so in this uh uh, uh episode we're going to be looking at uh, uh thompson's model of the theory J. J. Thompson model of the what of the of of what of the atomic what structure right so uh, it took eighty years it took eighty years for scientists to start looking into the structure of the atom after John Dalton's what postulates you know John Dalton made his own uh, postulates about uh, the the atomic structure so it took eighty years almost 80 years for scientists to begin looking again into the structure of the atom of course so many uh, uh so many uh theories were postulated after john uh, after john Dalton, and so, so some of those theories include that, uh, that of jj thompson which we're looking up today then uh ns rutherford also proposes theory neil Bohr proposes theory but today what really concerns us is what that of what jj thompson so jj thompson Use cathode ray tubes. Cathode ray tube to what to discover what they call corpuscles. Discover corpuscles. These corpuscles are now what we now call electrons. Electrons. So we can call what electrons corpuscles. So he used cathode ray tube. In his experiments to discover what to discover corpuscles now called what electrons so when he discovered what this corpuscles it was an evidence for the for, for the divisibility of an atom remember it was jj thompson in the last episode which was said jj thompson was the one that modified john Dalton's theory that an atom is the smallest indivisible that is J uh, Dalton said an atom is not divisible into smaller units but of course jj thompson modified it so uh, uh the discovery of electrons was an evidence of the of the divisibility of an atom all right so jj thompson what uh discovered what uh corpuscles which is what which is cathode ray what tubes so he used what cathode ray tubes in his experiment to discover what corpuscles the one we now call electrons we formed an evidence of the divisibility of an atom so jj thompson uh um, atomic structure is what that it's what is usually regarded widely regarded as the plum pudding model so you have to take note of this for white students for jam students is very important so jj thompson's model of the atom is called what the plum pudding model this atomic structure is called the plum pudding model so what does this model says so the model the plum pudding model assumes that what electrons are embedded in a positively charged gel that electrons are embedded in a positively charged gel that is what you have what a positive sign positive sign right positive have electrons embedded in what in a positive or charged gel all right so this is like uh it's a, a a small uh just a a, a small representation of what uh what jj Thompson was talking about so 
uh, so something like this all right so we are seeing electrons embedded inside what a positively was charged gel this is what the what the plum pudding model would assumed it assumed that what electrons were embedded in a positively charged gel that is to say an atom is such that there is a positively charged sphere there's a positively charged sphere in which they are embedded what negatively charged electrons so you can see what this negative charge was electrons so therefore jj thompson was widely regarded as the man who first split the atom split the word the atom for the first time is widely regarded as the man who first split the atom for the first time and of course he was the one that discovered what cathode ray tubes he discovered cathode ray what tube so please you have to take note of this point right We'll go over it again for the last time. We said he used cathode ray tubes in his experiment to discover corpuscles or the one we call what electrons, right? And then we said this form an evidence for the divisibility of the atom. And then, of course, his atomic structure is, is widely regarded as what are the plum pudding model, right? So you can see that which of these following scientists are uh, atomic structure was regarded as the plum pudding model. You should just know the answer. So it may white know that uh, the, the application is also available for YX students to download. The same price for activation, just 2,500 Naira. So please make sure you get the application. Then of course, please do not forget to, to like this video. Just give it a like, just click like below this video. This will make other students to find this video, which is helpful to you right now. So of course, uh, I do not forget to click on the subscribe button just below the video also. That subscribe button is not doesn't mean you are paying anything. It's free to subscribe. It's just so that whenever we publish a new video, you'll be, able, you'll be notified. You get a notification on your phone that, ah, O3 Schools has published a new video. That's all the benefit of subscription. It does not mean you are paying any money. You are not paying any money to anybody. So, of course, uh, we have seen that what this model was called the plum pudding model, and then we said what uh, is the model assumed that what that uh, electrons are embedded, are embedded electrons are embedded in a in a positively charged sphere. Then of course we said that what it means that what an atom is such that there's a there's, there's a positively charged sphere in which what negatively what charged electrons are embedded in it. All right, and then we said that what uh, J J Thompson is, is, is regarded as the first man to split the atom. Then, of course, uh, it was the one that also discovered cathode ray tubes. So let's go to the last part of this uh, of this class of JJ Thompson's model. And of course, it's very easy. Uh, so JJ Thompson, uh, JJ Thompson measured was able to measure the, spe the specific charge on an electron. Was able to what to measure the specific charge specific charge on an electron so jd Thompson was able to measure the specific charge on an electron that specific charge means charge per unit mass it is can also be called what specific charge it can also be called charge to what to mass ratio all right so if let's say for example charge here is what is represented by q then mass is represented by m this will mean what charge per unit what mass or charge to what to mass or to ratio the ratio of charge to what to what to mass is q over m isn't it all right so uh uh gj 20 was able to measure the specific charge on an electron of course uh the, the charge per what per unit mass or the charge per what per, per, per what per mass ratio all right Okay, so now I haven't gotten that. Robert Andrews Millicon. Robert Andrews Millicon. Popularly known as ROA Millicon. Was able to what? To discover what? The charge on an electron. He discovered the value for the charge on an electron. Meanwhile, J.J. Thompson's specific charge on an electron. He gave, he gave the value to be what 1.76 times 10 to the power 11 column kilogram per all right so uh jj thompson gave the value of the specific charge on an electron to be what this value 1.76 times 10 to the power 11 column kilogram per why what robert andrews millicom array millicom uh discovered the charge to be equal to what minus 1.6 
than 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb all right that is the charge on and what on an electron discovered by robert andrews millicon through his oil drop experiment oil drop experiment so this is a very common question for white students so i uh, the famous oil drop experiment was done by what by robert andrews millicon and it was uh, through that experiment that he was able to discover the charge on an electron to be what to be this value all right now i haven't known what the charge per unit mass to be this and then i haven't known the charge to be what minus 1.6 and 10 to the power minus 19 column then that means we can find the mass on an electron isn't it yes so since we know that what q over m q over m rather charge that is charge q over m it's equal to what 1.76 times 10 to the power 11 coulomb kilogram per all right then we know the what the charge to be what 1.6 and 10 to the power minus 19 forget about the negative sign here so if we have 1.6 that means if i replacing q with this 1.6 and 10 to the power minus 19 uh coulomb let's just forget about the units since we want to solve now coulomb is equal to over what over mass is equal to what now 1.76 and 10 to the power 11 all right so if you want to find the mass what do you do simply cross multiply and if i cross multiply that means the mass the mass will be equal to what now uh 1.6 and 10 to the power minus 19 all over what 1.76 and 10 to the power 11 all right so we are still solving so if you do this press your calculator if you do this your value should be uh uh 9.1 and 10 to the power minus 31 what uh, kilogram all right so uh of course you see a column we cancel column right so let's do talk with just kilogram all right so our mass will be what 9.1 and 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram so this was the mass of what of an electron following what the specific charge determination by jj thompson to be this and the charge on an electron discovered by robert andrews millicon to be what to be this so combining these two together we're able to get what the mass of an electron we can see of course that this mass of an electron is in kilogram the mass of an electron there is in kilogram that means we can convert it to gram convert it to gram yes let's convert that value to gram and then get a, 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 the, the mass of an electron in gram all right so if i'm converting uh that uh, that mass that mass as to, to gram now simply multiply by what by 1000 as 9.1 times 10 to the power minus 31 is in kilogram now, times 1000 will take it to gram so of course this is this also means what uh 10 to the power 3 isn't it all right so we can just easily take this 1000 off all right so if we do that i'm going to have 9.1 times 10 to the power minus 28 gram all right so this is now the mass of an electron in grams 9.1 times 10 to the power minus 31 was in kilogram so in gram i have 9.1 times 10 to the power minus 28 uh, gram so now let us now get the uh uh the mass of an electron in atomic mass unit go back to our previous ep episodes we have talked about what converting what mass in gram to what to atomic what mass unit so to convert to atomic mass unit amu which is a very very small unit right uh it's better for us to have that that that, that unit than have us this very bogus what uh, uh 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 value all right so converting atomic uh, mass in grams to atomic mass unit is simply what mass in grams grams times what times avogadro's constant so this is how to convert from at from a uh, from mass in grams to what to atomic mass unit simply multiply the mass in gram by the avogadro's constant so if you do this calculation Going to have 9.1 times 10 to the power minus 28 times what? What is Avogadro's constant? 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. So, please, this is why we are saying do not miss any episode of this class. Go back, watch from the first episode up to where you are, and keep on like that. And you see that what your chemistry is settled in jam. All right, because we are covering all the jam world syllabus. Please do not forget to subscribe. Click on the red subscribe button on this on this video right now. All right, so. If you do this uh, calculation, multiply, you, you should have uh, 5.48 times 10 to the power what, minus 4, 10 to the power minus 4 
am so it's nine watts in atomic watt mass watt unit all right so and likewise if you want to convert this value to fraction if you want to convert this value to fraction i'm going to have and we're taking it backward four times right this is 5.48 it's going back one two three four now zero point right i want to have what zero point uh, zero zero here will be zero 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 for those of you that do not know indices zero 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 then five four eight all right this is amu all right so having this value what in the uh, in amu in, in fraction we can now what convert what this to what uh to you can take it back to fraction this is in decimal now you can take it back to what to fraction so i'm going to have zero point zero 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 five four eight you want to convert to fraction by taking away this uh uh this uh, decimal point of course that means we are going to divide by one two three right uh four five six so that what all the decimal is what completely what taken care of so divided by 10 is power six if you divide by this you are going to have what now five four eight over one two three four five six so if you reduce this fraction to its lowest term, you should have you should have something like one over what one eight three seven approximately. So the mass of an electron in what in atomic mass unit is what one over what one eight three seven one over one eight three seven. This is widely regarded as what as a mass of an electron. This, this value is what is widely regarded as the mass of an electron and this is the value which you will put on your head the, you, you could decide to put all these ones on your head anyway but we have reduced it simplified it to be what one over what one eight three seven as the mass of an electron this is a past why question also so please uh do not play with anything we have done here today so understand understand how we arrived here from the specific charge so Robert Andrews Millicons oil drop experiment where he discovered the charge, we were able to discover the mass. From mass, we converted it from kilogram to gram. Then from gram, converted it to atomic mass unit, and then we reduced it to what? To this value. So it's very easy to understand. So of course, uh, that is all you need to know about JJ Thompson's theory of what of, of, of what of the atomic structure. So it was very, very instrumental also, uh, and was widely regarded as the first man to split the atom. Right, so it's good that you put that into what into memory also. So this is where I'm going to stop the class. Uh, in our next class, we're going to be looking at Rutherford's model of the atom. All right, so I'm going to take a look into Rutherford's model of the atom, which is suddenly called the planetary model. Suddenly, right, because it's also similar to Neil Bohr's what theory. All right, so because uh, Neil Bohr is easily is even widely regarded uh, to have the planetary model, but uh, of course, uh, Rutherford is suddenly, suddenly sometimes called uh, his model is sometimes called the planetary model also. So I'm going to look at Rutherford model, then we'll look at the bus model in the next class also. So please put all this in mind. And of course, my name remains Olabitan God, and I'll be very, very happy to see you in the next class. Don't forget to subscribe to this video, subscribe to this your channel, just click on the red subscribe button below, and don't forget to like this video. It's very important. Give it a like and share this video to your friends and family. And I'll see you in the next class. Thanks for watching.